Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and this big box of goodies has been sitting here since June 5th. I've been sniffing, but I haven't melted because I want to share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, if you are familiar with my videos, Wax, the world of vendor wax, I don't want to get too much into it, but I do want to talk about L3 Waxy Wonders and how much I'm obsessed with Jennifer and her company. So a little backstory on L3 Waxy Wonders. It is a vendor wax company based in Oregon, owned by Jennifer Westing, and she has her family, her friends, her crew making these incredible wax products from scoopable wax to loaves to shapes to bath and body products. Her stuff is incredible, but her stuff sells fast. So this was my first time ordering from L3 Waxy Wonders. I know I talked about a mystery box, and in that mystery box I did say that was my second order. I wanted to let this sit so I could really get a feel of it before I made a video. I have a feel for it, and I absolutely love it. So let's get started and talk about her samples. I did get three samples in the bag. The first one we have, and I'll be perfectly honest, the samples are definitely not for me. The first one is Cherry Almond Cuppy Cake. I don't like cherry and I don't like almond scents. And this is Cherry Almond and it smells just like Cherry Almond. It's like, it definitely is authentic. So if you're a big fan of cherries and you're a big fan of that Cherry Almond scent, it smells like a cherry almond cupcake, like 100%, with this really rich, decadent frosting. It's just not my style of scent. She sent three little cute, three little shapes, looks like like a little hexagon and like two little like cup cupcake frosting, little lids, but again, not a super big fan of those type of scents. Then I got a sample of cherry zucchini bread, another I don't really love zucchini bread and I don't like cherry. It's like a little rose shape. But again, it smells like zucchini bread mixed with cherry. And again, if you like those cherry scents, you'll love this. Her zucchini bread is not super spicy. It's more of a creamy zucchini bread, which I do like. It smells like true, authentic zucchini bread out of the oven which I'm all about. And then I also got this sample in my mystery box. It's a banana cabana banana, and this is in her scoopable wax, which I'll explain what scoopable wax is when I get into the full sizes, but this just smells like a very laffy taffy banana type of scent. Oh, it's so good though. It's mellow. It's almost like a, like a banana laffy taffy drink type of scent. It's delicious, and it's a nice, cute little sample. Now, on to the actual products. Oh, I did get a sticker, just like always, and the sticker says, if you want to achieve greatness, stop asking for permission. Love that little phrase. Now, L3 Waxy Wonders is a Facebook group company. Yes, you can access everything on her website, but if you don't have Facebook, definitely suggest getting Facebook, even if you're just joining for the Facebook groups for wax. That's where you're gonna find out about when she's pouring stuff, restocks, all the information behind the scenes. And what L3 is famous for is her crazy blends, but blends that make sense. She sells scoopable wax, which is this really, really soft wax that works in your light bulb warmers. You can really melt it in any warmers. It's just a very easy and convenient way to get wax. She sells bunts, which I'll cut into little pieces. She sells her base, her bitty Betty loaves and her basic Betty loaves. So those are like big loaves of wax. She sells all different shapes. And then she also sells, oh, these are back here, puppy packs, which is like a little bag of little goodies. Now, what I want to start with is the scoopables. I love scoopables. I just think they're so fun. They stack easy. They're cute. I love, you can see the colors and a little bit of OCD in me. It's really nice to keep them all super organized and they look so satisfying whenever you first get them. 
Now, you'll see this little sticker on the bottom. I actually added this sticker. This says arrived on June 5th because when you're ordering from an independent company, those things need to cure. So essentially what a cure time is, and I talk about this in any vendor wax video, the molecules of the fragrance oils to the wax need to bind. And in order to do that, it just needs to sit. Put it in a cool dark space and just let it sit, let it marinate, let it get nice and gooey and fragrant and strong and just letting it sit the the more the notes will come out you'll really get into the scents so because I have a lot of wax I like to date my products on the bottom and I hate my own handwriting I do have really nice handwriting I just don't like the way that it looks so I write I get these little Avery stickers and I type on my computer arrived on June 5th 2021 so I know when this came so I can know now Grant this was poured before that she doesn't put pour dates on anything so for me i like to add when i got them and i let it sit now i'm still experimenting with l3 but from what the vast majority of people say is about a month so july 5th these things will be ready to crack open and melt now i talk a lot <laughs> i know i do so let's actually get into a sniff session shall we First on the list is called Fangs Palo Santo, and again, if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with Palo Santo scents, and this is no exception. The notes say wildberry mousse, blueberry cereal, and pie crust. I assume there's Palo Santo in it as well, I would just assume, and I do rub the top of my scoopables. That's just to really get the oils nice and warm so I can really experience the scent. Guys. You definitely get the Palo Santo. It's this really warm, smoky wood mixed with this, I love, wild berry mousse. It's like strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, blackberry, and this really creamy mousse. Like, I want to eat wild berry mousse. Every time I ever go to a restaurant, you only see chocolate mousse, right? Unless you go super fancy and you get, like, pineapple or something. But I've never actually eaten wild berry mousse. I'm sure I would absolutely love it, but wild berry mousse... Booberry cereal, so you get that, like, really, again, red berry fruity cereal and pie crust. So good. I feel like this would be a great morning melt. Get you going in the morning with that bright, sit, these bright fruity notes. Oh, it's so, so yummy. Next, pumpkin apple BBW type. So this smells just like the Bath & Body Works pumpkin apple candle. It's just like the most decadent apple cider with like pumpkin pie spices sprinkled on top so nutmeg cinnamon cardamom mm. her scents give me life like i don't need caffeine i don't need energy drinks just smelling l3's wax gets me going now next strawberry pound cake vanilla cookies vanilla butter fudge and vanilla bean noel now strawberry pound cake one of my all-time favorite candles from Bath & Body Works. I'm so basic. I don't get a ton of that in this scent. I get mostly the vanilla butter fudge. So this one, after a month, I'm going to be very curious to pop this in my warmers to see if that strawberry pound cake and those other notes come out. Now, to me, vanilla cookies, vanilla bean noel, really just like a neutralizing, creamy type of scent. But the strawberry pound cake and the vanilla butter fudge, I definitely get like this creamy, fudgy vanilla scent but I don't get any strawberry pound cake so it'll be interesting to see how this sits and blends and cures <gasps> honey I watched the kids if you know you've been here a while my first job when I was 18 was working at Lush it was a horrific four and a half years of my life but I still love their scents and honey I watched the kids is no exception it's like this buttery toffee type of scent with this fresh gooey honey oh it's so good this is the exact same oil that lush uses oh it smells so good one of one of my favorite not super clean and fresh bathroom scents i love honey i wash the kids in the bathroom i mean it is after all a soapy scent so why wouldn't it be a good bathroom scent Speaking of bathroom scent, I got this strictly because I knew it would be amazing in the bathroom. Watermelon, cucumber, salty sea air, and green clover aloe. Oh, guys, 
this smells like a watermelon scent, like a really fresh cucumber watermelon. If you know cucumber melon from Bath and Body Works, which who doesn't? It even reminds me of the color. You get that cucumber, you get that watery, seedy, fresh, it's spring in the air cucumber, and you get a real watermelon scent. You know how I reviewed from that other Scentsy Bring Back My Bar watermelon scents, and I said they all smelled artificial like candy? This doesn't. And then the salty sea air and the green clover aloe kind of add like a third dimension to those fresh scents, those fresh watery watermelon and cucumber are both water-based fragrances and water-based fruit vegetables. So it would make sense to add salty sea air and like aloe to it. It's such a yummy scent. I know that will be amazing. Amazing in these motorcycles keep driving by at like 10 o'clock at night. Like what is going on? driving by, um, it'll be amazing in the bathroom. <gasps> Pumpkin pecan waffles, warm vanilla sugar, sugared shortbread. Yes, I know every Bath and Body Works scent that's a classic is my favorite, including pumpkin pecan waffles. Never get enough of it. <sighs> you definitely pick up on pumpkin pecan waffles, but it's crazy because I can smell the warm vanilla sugar and I can smell the sugar shortbread. Like, you know those Lorna Dune shortbread cookies that were squares that were so good, my grandma was obsessed with them. This smells just like those shortbreads. You get that ooey, gooey, super sweet pumpkin pecan waffles. Oh, and you get warm vanilla sugar. It's heaven. This is gonna be amazing for the fall. Pumpkin pretzel. I talked about this before. My girl Danny, Danny loves wax, Danny loves life, Danny loves everything. I love Danny and her super sweet kids. She's so sweet. She says the same thing. L3's pretzel is not my scent. And I ordered this before I knew that. Maybe when it melts, but it smells just like yeast. And like, I love Annie Ann's pretzels. I work in the mall, if you guys don't know. I do work for Bath and Body Works, um, but it doesn't smell like a pretzel. Like, our Bath and Body Works uh, salted pretzel milkshake candle smells like a pretzel. That, not so much. Continuing with my scoopables and my Bath and Body Works trend, Diagon Alley. Now, I'm also not a, I don't want to say not a nerd, I'm not a nerd, but I don't really know what Diagon Alley is. Maybe it's Harry Potter, maybe it's... I don't know. I don't want to say anything wrong. Marshmallow Fireside Graham Crackers. So like the ultimate s'more without the chocolate. Yes. But to me, I don't know if it's her Marshmallow Fireside oil. It kind of smells a little perfumey to me. And I don't know if that's coming across just because I haven't melted it yet. And I'm not really getting a ton of graham cracker. And maybe that's her graham cracker oil. I'm not sure. But to me, this smells a little bit like a perfumey scent. So, I don't know. I'll definitely let that sip. Ooh, another fresh scent. Fresh Pick Strawberries Lemonade and Beach Sage Mint. I love the Bath & Body Works Beach Sage Mint Candle. So I knew I was going to love this. Mixed with strawberry lemonade. It's tart. It's juicy and it's fresh all at the same time. Lemonade, like that fresh lemonade you get at the fair where it's like all this sugar, a little bit of lemon, and filled with water. Fresh picked strawberries, juicy, fresh, juicy, I say juicy a lot. I love juicy. Juicy strawberries and that beach sage mint is fresh. It's a little bit salty sea air vibes. Perfection. Another great bathroom one. Another one like you just cooked a dinner and you just want to clear the air. Ants Jam Filled Jelly Rolls. Guys, this might be one of my favorite. This might be one of my loves from L3. I have it in two loaves. I have it now in scoop bowls. Strawberry jam, whipped cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla pound cake. I think it's the strawberry jam in here that I just adore. I mean, like, I would literally wear this as perfume because it smells so good. The strawberry jam in here is the most succulent, like, seeded strawberry jam you've ever eaten in your life. Like, you go to Amish country and they 
like they soak the ball jars in the boiled water to seal them up. This smells like the best strawberry jam and the whipped cream cheese, the powdered sugar, the vanilla pound cake just adds that depth to this scent to make it like the ultimate bakery scent. Now this one's kind of interesting. Ice cream party berry waffle cone. I'm not 100% sure of the description of ice cream party, but I'm very familiar with Bath and Body Works berry waffle cone. It has this sharpness to it, berry waffle cone, that I'm not the biggest fan of. A little bit different shade, but I love this. This takes what I don't like about berry waffle cone and makes it better, which also makes it interesting to think like, am I gonna burn berry waffle cone and vanilla bean together to give me like that ice cream party berry waffle cone vibes from L3? Because I do like to burn candles with my melts. Let me know if that would be an interesting series that I could do, like what candles I burn with my vendor wax, because I definitely have found some super great winners. I, I really do. But Ice Cream Party Berry Waffle Cone, it's like a much more mellowed down berry waffle cone. Like an authentic, sweet but salty waffle cone with the most fresh berries in this creamy, creamy ice cream. It's like a match made in heaven in that scent. One more scoop. Palo Santo Zucchini Bread Vanilla Bean Noel Waffle Cone. Guys, I love this. You smell zucchini bread. It's that creamy, creamy zucchini bread, but the Palo Santo in here definitely makes it a more, mm, makes it a more warm, like you have your sweatpants on, it's chilly, maybe your robe, and you put on a really nice movie, and you just pulled out this fresh zucchini bread, and you have really great like Kerrygold butter that's just melting all on top of it, soaking into that bread, making it super moist and delicious. Amen. It's rocks my world. All right, those were all the scoops. Now let's get into the shapes. Let's go ahead and knock out the bunts. So these are her two pack of bunts, and the first one is strawberry pound cake. Again, a signature scent from Bath and Body Works. I knew I had to try this, and it smells very similar. It's like this rich strawberry, gooey vanilla cake, whipped cream. There's nothing wrong with this scent. It I mean, they make it in perfume, candles, body care, wallflowers, soaps, for a reason. Because it smells to die for. <gasps> Speaking of strawberry pound cake, we have strawberry pound cake don't cross streams. And I'm kicking myself. I don't remember. I think it's like a super vanilla scent. Don't cross streams. I just dropped it. I did order don't cross streams in a single scent in the pre-order today, or in the restock today. And this again, I can tell it's different than strawberry pound cake. It's a much more vanilla version of strawberry pound cake. So I believe that Don't Cross Streams is, I was about to say, hey Siri, what's Don't Cross Streams? But she doesn't know what that is. Um, oh, heaven. It's like just like a more rich, sophisticated strawberry pound cake. Concerts at the State Fair. I got this as a sample in my mystery box, and I'm not 100% sold on it yet. This says, wonderful fried food, the sweet cotton candy and the popcorn. This scent is a mix of fried Twinkies, cotton candy, and kettle corn. I just don't get much from it. It kind of just smells like wax. And that's what I said in my other video. I don't know if it's the cotton candy that's making it smell like that, so again, this is another one that I'm gonna let this sit in its bag for the month and let it cure to see what it does. I was very excited about this one. Rose Jam Palo Santo Toasted Mallow. I need a loaf in this ASAP. Rose Jam, it's a lush scent. It originally was a shower gel. It's so sweet, bubblegum rose. And it's a strong, strong scent, 100%. I would say this is like 85% rose jam. I, But it's different, which makes me know that there's Palo Santo and toasted marshmallow. But it's good. It's like a warm, 
smoky rose jam. I love this. And the color is amazing. It's like this very light lilac purple. It's really yummy. So those were the bunts. Now on to the puppy packs. Puppy packs, I think, are so cute. There's all these little shapes. And what I love is like with my Scentsy warmers, I have one, two, three, four Scentsy warmers. I will go one, two, three, four shapes. Boom, 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 boom. Sets up my entire apartment. Super easy. And this one is pistachio ice cream raspberry jam waffle cone. Plus, they're flat, so they store it really easily. Pistachio ice cream is a scent that I just love. Oh, look at these little lips. This should be my L3 Waxy Wonders uh, little, um, I can't think of it, my, um, my header, my thumbnail. You pick up on pistachio ice cream, that really, really unique pistachio scent, and you get raspberries, like candy raspberries, and then a warm, warm waffle cone. Oh, so good. I love bakery scents, and I can never do wrong with bakery. This one, interesting. Fig Tree Tayberry Teakwood Palo Santo. I love fig. Tayberry Teakwood, not 100% sure what that is. Um, and then Palo Santo, this is a little cuppy cake. I pick up on fig, I definitely do. I, teakwood, yes, like a, like a very more masculine, fresh scent, but I'm not picking up on Palo Santo at all. So, again, when these melt, those are typically when those oils you really can't smell really come out and shine, but so far I'm not getting that from this, but it's like a, it's like a, I love a fig scent, so. Next. Midnight Blue Citrus Lemon Curd Vanilla Ice Cream. Midnight Blue Citrus is another classic signature Bath & Body Works scent. It's a little heart. And you smell that Midnight Blue Citrus. You definitely do. But Lemon Curd, 100%. 50-50. And then Vanilla Ice Cream creams it all up. Midnight Blue Citrus is this like mango citrus candle that Bath & Body Works sells in their signature White Barn line that is, it doesn't really get repackaged a lot. Um, men love it, women love it, the wallflower bulbs in it are amazing out of this world. So that blended together, amazing. <gasps> Fresh picked strawberries, Island Margarita Bum Bum. So Bum Bum is the body cream that Sephora sells from Sol de Janeiro that smells like this amazing coconut scent. It's like a bakery coconut. Again, I don't love, this one does not want to open for me. I do not love coconut, but I love Bum Bum. Island Margarita, that sweet, salty margarita, limey, with fresh picked strawberries. Oh, this, again, you could squeeze this bag and pour it in a glass and drink it. And that's when you know they're good. Last but not least, loaves. So, I have a little basic Betty loaf, or bitty Betty loaf, because it's smaller. And this got banged up by me dropping it on the ground. It nothing to do with Jennifer. And this is Sweet on Paris Strawberry Pound Cake Vanilla Birch. This is a Bath & Body Works dupe loaf. Sweet on Paris. I need to get the exact notes on the Sweet on Paris body cream that was years ago. Never came back. It's like a blackberry lemon from what I remember. Strawberry Pound Cake and Vanilla Birch. Which is this really woodsy vanilla scent and I definitely pick up on that a lot in this scent surprisingly like this woodsy vanilla with a super sweet fruity body care scent oh it's so so yummy and then I don't want to say the highlight because there's so many amazing things but boardwalk taffy type and yes it's back for semi-annual sale, Boardwalk Taffy, spun sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla in a giant loaf. And this smells exactly like Boardwalk Taffy. It smells like you just went to the beach and you got the best saltwater taffy. My friend Caitlin actually, shout out to Caitlin. I love Caitlin, she's one of my favorite people. 
she just went to the beach and she brought us back at work um, saltwater taffies and I've been snacking on them maybe more than I should and this smells just like authentic saltwater taffies and I cannot wait to chop this up this is gonna be the scent that I melt throughout the summer because I hate summer that whenever I get home from a really hot day and I'm really miserable I'm gonna pop boardwalk taffy into my warmers and be happy Whew. all right there's a lot of wax I cannot wait to put this all away let me know if you guys ordered from L3 today. Let me know if you guys order from L3 in the future, what scents you love, which scents I need to try, what blends I need to try, and let me know if you guys want to see me do a loaf cutting video on camera. They're super fun, super satisfying. I know a lot of people comment they think I can do ASMR videos. I don't know, but definitely willing to film some loaf chopping videos. Now, without, without me rambling on like I do a lot. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.